Hi everyone, welcome back to Me Outdoors. Today I'm gonna teach you guys the best way to pick up a crayfish without running the risk of getting pinched. We're talking, you're gonna get far under 1%, like at most 1% chance of getting pinched by a crayfish. So if you, your friends or your family don't wanna get pinched by a crayfish, you like crayfish, or you're gonna do catch and cook sometimes, or wanna know how to pick up crayfish because you think they're cool or something, then this is how you do it. This is a quick video explaining why. Now crayfish mostly exist in rivers and creeks, sometimes even lakes. Sometimes you'll find them like this big to about this big at most. There are some rare species that might get a little bit bigger, but those are really rare. Now across America and even the whole entire globe, people will call them crayfish, crawfish, crawdad, or craydad, or even mud bug. Those are basically all the names. There might be a couple more that's probably more rare, but there's a bunch of different names for them. They're all the same thing. So let's get right to today's video. And if you enjoy the, today's content or you like GoPro content, I do a little bit of GoPro technology content or outdoors content, fishing content, crayfish content, a lot of that now, and a little bit of maybe hunting content in the future. So if you like that content, subscribe, and after the intro, I'll tell you exactly how to pick one up without running any risk. Stay to the end, and you'll be a crayfish smarter. I don't even think I could use that word in that sentence. It doesn't make any sense. Anyway, intro. We got a cat. Make sure you hit that subscribe and leave a like button. All right, now it's time to find a crayfish and get ready to learn something. Pretty interesting and cool. All right, so what you're gonna to do is to avoid the pinchers, you're gonna to wanna to go from the back, approach from the back. And just, just to say this to begin with, there's only about a 1% chance that you do get pinched even probably even less than that at most it's a one percent chance if you're doing exactly what i'm saying pick them up by the tail and they won't notice you as much and they won't be as scared and then boom so yeah uh, as you can see the crayfish is a, almost basically kind of completely aligned with my fingers um, it could stand a little farther than my two fingers pinching it and so it see it cannot bend back and pinch me so i know it's getting really close and the camera is picking up as very blurry but it cannot pinch me there's only 1% chance re reserved for only if, they can only pinch you if like they have some sort of genetics where they're a little bit more flexible, but that's that's so low. It's not, it's not almost guaranteed that's not gonna happen. Like I'd say probably one in 300 might, might pinch you. All right, so there's no risk with this, especially if you do exactly what I say, but even if you don't, they won't pinch you. So just pick them up by the tail and then you're good. Um, it's a little more difficult if it's, if it's in more rapids or slippery rocks when you bend over. Um, if you're not as stable, may, it might slip. I don't because I'm used to this. Understand how to walk correctly. Minimize the chance of slipping in a river. So yeah, that's how you do it. I hope you guys found this interesting. So yeah, that'll do it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. And if you didn't, we'll try and get you next time. If you, but if you did enjoy it, subscribe. And um, if you want to, get at the bell notification button. So you'll get notified every time we upload a new video. See you next time.